World Three Words is an app which has divided the world into 57 trillion three meter squares and we've named each of those squares with a unique combination of three words from the dictionary, like table, chair, spoon. You zoom in to see the grid and then each one of those grid squares has a unique and fixed three word address. Flip into satellite view and there you have the three word address for where you left your car. So we felt it was really important that everybody should be able to talk about everywhere really easily. Now there's only one way that you can do that where street addresses don't work very well. You can use GPS coordinates, but that needs 18 digits and it's really hard to use. You need a nine digit latitude and a nine digit longitude and they're really prone to error. You make a five and a six, get them in the wrong order um, and you'll be wrong, but you won't necessarily know you are wrong. Uh, so I guess for example, if you go have an accident and you need to direct uh, emergency services to, to, to where you are, um, rather than say I'm ha halfway up this, this national highway, you can be incredibly specific about the location of the accident. Because the conversion between coordinates and our three word addresses is all maths, it's actually very small, it's under 10 megabytes for the whole world's 57 trillion addresses. So that means it can fit inside any app and it can then work offline. So we're built into a variety of apps and websites around the world. Uh, for example, NavMe, which is the world's biggest offline navigation app, has built us in. The Norwegian national mapping system, you can actually search for a three-word address directly in that. Uh, Esri, the world's biggest geospatial software, have built us in. Um, a logistics business in Rio de Janeiro have integrated so that they can now deliver to all of the unaddressed parts of the city. Um, we've got use cases in Africa and Asia, again, mapping, logistics related. Um, I think everything's really growing um, and we're now in nine different languages too. So we received a couple of million dollars in seed funding, um, but we actually closed just at the end of last year our Series A round uh, with Intel Capital and Horizons Ventures, uh, which was three and a half million dollars, uh, which was really fantastic having those big global brands behind you.